All right, with this West 2 first alert update, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Minolfi. Hope you guys had a uh, good TGI Friday and uh, are ready for the weekend. Well, we've got some warm weather on the way. We're also going to keep you uh, uh, up to speed on what's going on with uh, the earthquake data uh, for folks down there in Puerto Rico. I had a 5.2 magnitude earthquake around 526 uh, this evening. Originally, it was... Uh, uh, looking at a 5.4, but uh, after uh, going back and looking at some of the size uh, graphic data, USGS has uh, moved it from a 5.4 down to a 5.2. Still pretty strong, though. Uh, Emily West has joined us, Natasha Mitchell. E. West, what you got going on this weekend, girl? You working? Taking pictures of that full wolf moon? Oh, I know you are. Natasha Mitchell, Milda Rivera, good to have you. Uh, Alexa, play Coldplay. Radio. Dawn Braverman, Amy White, Donnie Moore in the house. All right. Alexa, play Coldplay Radio. Angie Maraglia, Brad Hughes, Natasha Garcia. Yes. Alexa's helping me out. There we go. We got it. She's, she's going. Uh, yes, I sure did. Uh, got some nice. Uh, post a few on here, if you don't mind, there, if you can do that. Kathy Williams, Karen Kustra, Mildred Zaragoza. We got a good Friday night group here already. Check you guys out. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, earthquake data. Let's uh, let's go to that here real quick and show you what I've got. Uh, a couple more shout-outs. Natasha Garcia, Karen Vingle, uh, Karen Ingle Johnson, Milda Rivera, Jules Torres, uh, Karen Kustra, we got Juan Melendez, Diana Osha from Miss St. Albans is in the house, Jason Beer, Lori Knowlton, uh, you got it, uh, Haley, I uh, love the Haley, <laughs> always Emily, always, uh, Kim Smith, Mate Tony Conway's in the house, Jules Torres, uh, thank you Jules, uh, and what about you Em, feeling wild tonight, you can take a, wide, a walk on the wild side, alright, let's get some data going here. Show you guys what's going on. Boom! All right, so we had a 5.2 and 526. Most of the aftershocks have been in the 2.5 to 4.2 range ever since then, which is some good news. Now, when we talk about earthquakes, I'm going to do this here for you guys uh, real quickly. This is the earthquake magnitude scale. Red, 8.0. Uh, major, uh, great earthquakes. Uh, these types of earthquakes are rare, thankfully, but when they happen... Uh, they pretty much annihilate everything. Too much uh, shaking going on. All one of Vanessa Kaloe. Moon is in the house. Brian Mayer. Am Aminda. Oh, that sounds like kind of weak. <laughs> so, yes. Emily, I'm starting, starting to worry about you, girl. Uh, all in. Moon, good to have you. Bright Moon here in Ocala. Uh, long time. Ah, Richard, good you're back. Carla Deem is in the house. Lorena Mo 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 Mo. Mashburn is in the house. So uh, the 5.2. Is a, a light, almost moderate earthquake there. So you get some damage to some buildings. Haven't had any major damage reports. That's the good news. Stephanie Booker Morales, uh, Adel Rivas, also in the house. Good to have you guys. All right, so again, 5.2 earthquake. Uh, not getting any substantial reports of any damage or anything like that. So showing some good news, Janelle. Great right for my beautiful island. There you go, Janelle. Arthur Corbett, Jojo Hernandez, Press for Puerto Rico. Well said. All right, the other big story developing is a pretty significant severe weather outbreak right now. Thankfully, this is not going to be an issue for us. But in this area right here, these red areas, those are tornado watches. And we've got multiple tornado watches now. Dallas coming out of uh, Oklahoma into Arkansas, southern Missouri. Uh, again, large, damaging, significant tornadoes are possible overnight tonight. And then on the northern side... Uh, we have a fairly significant snowstorm ongoing there through Des Moines, Iowa, eastern Iowa, out into southern Wisconsin there, so we'll be watching that. Diana Radner, Joe Marie, good to have you. Ryan uh, Beach Camp, no tsunamis is correct. Praying for my beautiful Puerto Rico, says Mildred. Uh, Vicki Smith, first of my friends in Puerto Rico. Of course, the governor of Florida was down there surveying the damage earlier today. So there's Quebec, a little bit of rain, snow there. So this whole system... Uh, is going to develop and then push 
east northeastward but as it's moving eastward there's a big high here so what that's going to do is cause this energy to go up and over this big ridge of high pressure such as that so we will not have any severe weather here but it, uh, we'll, we'll watch that line and be keeping uh, folks in Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas in our prayers and thoughts tonight. It's going to be a very active weather day. Callan Armstrong, well said. Mike Long, good to have you. Alwyn, love that. Seth, feeling patriotic. Jojo, you need a warm one. Uh, Joe, uh, you, you, you need semi-warm weather, yes. You don't want, I mean, it doesn't have to be, have a tornado, but having the ideal clashes of the air mass, hot and cold, and changing that wind direction with height. We'll definitely get it going. Maria Toll, thank you for to you. To all, there you go. There you go, Maria. Crystal, Marisol, Dan, uh, Tina, and Haley Riggs all in the house. Good to have you guys. So let's take a look at the setup here in FutureCast. Kind of show you what it looks like. This will load in here uh, gradually. Uh, prayers for our troops, too, says Haley. Correct. Not all looking forward to our seven. Ah, Joe Joe. All right. So there's our line of storms. Notice how it begins to fall apart there Sunday morning. And we get that deep southeasterly flow. So what that basically means for us is that we'll have the chance for some showers. Francis Lodicano, good to have you, Marilyn Giroux, Mikey Long, and Gerald Elliott. There you go. Troops and Puerto Rico, right. There's our storm system weakening and going up and over that ridge. We'll have the chance for some showers over the weekend. But again, the greatest severe weather risk is going to be well north of central Florida tonight and tomorrow. So there you have it. Enhanced risk there for Mobile and New Orleans uh, with, uh, again, just your typical run-of-the-mill thunder showers possible as we get you into Sunday morning. Tisha, Mary Richard, good to have you guys. Michael Mitch Cox, uh, good to have you. Roxanne, good evening to you. Again, you guys know my motto, sharing is caring. The more people we can reach by you, sharing this Facebook Live feed to uh, your friends, loved ones, uh, significant others' pages. The more people we can reach, the more people we can reach, uh, the more people we can put uh, in the weather. No, Allison Brown, Quebec, uh, is here with Kayla. Uh, Carolyn's not wild. <laughs> Carolyn, Carolyn, live on the wild side. There you go, girl. 79 in Palm Coast, 82 in Titusville, 83 in Orlando. Uh, Amanda Michaels, you're, you're most welcome. Uh, Winter Haven coming in at 84 for tomorrow. Now, again, the records for tomorrow are, are not super high in Sanford and Daytona, and depending on how much sun we get, we'll determine if we have a chance to make a run at that. So we'll keep you posted. Oh, no, says Carolyn. Marisol, hi, Tony. Uh, since let's see what Puerto Rico. Ah, gotcha, Marisol. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Jules, I live in uh, Tennessee, so sorry. Ooh, Jules. Yeah, yeah, that, that's where the earthquake was today, in fact. is uh, She is. She's, she's spitting out music. Uh, Dan, and this is why we live in Florida. Yeah, every place has its issues, you know. We have hurricanes, uh, a very rare earthquake every once in a while. But every place seems to have its own issues. Now, tomorrow, if you're trying to make it a beach day, and why not, as it is going to be beautiful, uh, here's what I got for you. So it's just a teeny bit. Uh, it's wind. And the wind is going to create the danger of current risk. Surf is going to be elevated. Amy Wake has a full moon effect. Uh, it, it, it affects the gravitational pull on the earth. So the tides are definitely affected. And that moon tonight is actually awesome. It's not a stupid question, by the way. No questions are stupid. The only, the only thing that's stupid is not asking the question. That's what I would say. Nicole Lopez. We're clapping for you, too. Julie Dawes from North Dakota. Wow. So Jules, a little cold. And you guys are going to miss the heavy uh, snow, but uh, definitely cold up your way. Amanda Michaels, heavy breeze. Uh, it is going to continue this weekend. We got that big high off to our east, as we were showing you earlier there. Uh, so, again, rip currents, high winds at the beaches. Epcot, isolated showers at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Amanda Michaels, again, so that big high. Is what's responsible for your your gusty winds along the coast. Nilda saying enjoy. She's clapping. She's happy camper. Uh, Home and Garden Festival. Uh, as we kind of continue to show you things that are going on around Central Florida this weekend. Opens at ten. Isolated shower three. 
A lingering shower at six as it's closing. Turn to turn on my tornado. Ah, oh, Mikey Long. Uh, definitely if you live in the, the Southern Plains. Now, we do have uh, the marathon on Sunday. Clouds mile 68. Warm for the runners. Uh, Yeda Warmer Weather says Denise. Marilyn Giroux shared weather with the family heading to St. Pete. Ah, happy birthday to her, Marilyn. Uh, Giroux, well said. Uh, records on Sunday. Uh, it was also a wave. Hello, hi. <laughs> Girl, you're killing me, girl. Monty Gomes, Earl Fools, good to have you guys. Happy Friday. Uh, happy uh, weekend eve. Uh, so you guys are in weekend mode already. I will be in weekend mode after the 11. All right, Sunday, 85, 84, 83, 85. Forecast can be within a degree or two of that. Monty Gomes saying, hey, our beaches are closed here in Pensacola. Uh, Deb, is that because of the weather that's moving in, or do you have uh, some red tide issues up there? Gene, Grim is in the house. South to rain. We do have a few showers out there. Amanda Olson, howdy to you. Uh, Maureen Jacobs, hi, Tony. Hi, back. Uh, let's go to the radar here real quick so we can answer that. Elizabeth Moody, Lozada. Lozy's in the house. Lozat. Oh, we do have showers. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, my husband. Uh, there's Cocoa Beach, Satellite Beach. There's a couple showers right there along the coast. Coming up towards Volusia County, you can see Daytona Beach, New Smyrna Beach having a few showers there. Uh, there you go. Port Orange, Ormond Beach, Flagler Beach, Bunnell. There you go. All right. And there's Kissimmee and Orlando. A few showers. Thank you for doing these because I get... Well, you know what, Carolyn? That's uh, part of the reason why we do these, by the way. Obviously, we... we we want you to be tuning in when there's a hurricane or if there's severe weather, but but we get it. We know that uh, you parents have children and, and, and after school activities and things you got to do, and this is uh, another reason to do that. And it's a good way for us to connect with you, win you over so that when you are watching TV, you're watching us. Monty Gomes, two hour pulls if she's shaking up every once in a Yes, not bad. You know, a few showers around, definitely warm. Amanda Michaels. So. Low 70s right now. Tonight's lows are not going to be that cool. To answer your question there, Cindy. Uh, NYC in the 60s, correct. Now uh, There's a peak now at tomorrow morning. Ocala, 63. Orlando, 66. And Titusville uh, coming at 70. Uh, Carmen Horvath, good to have you from Ohio. Maureen Shields, thank you. I'm up for Eric and before bed is you. No TV can you. Momo, we got you, girly girl. You got to do what you got to do. Julie Dawes. I can beg you to start here. <laughs> Jules, I love that. K. Kells, what up, girl? K. Kells, K. -K, -K Kells. Uh, oh, Catherine, no doubt, man. I tell you what, I'm hoping that um, this is going to end soon. They're on pins and needles down there. Uh, we ran a story uh, today here in the community, in the, in the uh, Latino community, Puerto Rican community, and they're they're just freaking out. And I get it. Jeannie Wilbert Grimm, what happened? I looked yesterday. What happened? I looked. Jeannie, talk to me. What are we talking about here? What happened? I looked yesterday. Uh, summer comes early, says Brian Lucio. Brian Lucio. The Lucci. The Luchinator. All right. Seven day. Let's pop that up. And then we're going to go uh, to the Caribbean. To the Caribbean. There's your seven day popping up now. Hang tight. It's coming. Woo yeah. Woo yeah. There you go. 83. 83. 83. 83. 84. Then. Dropping back into the upper 70s there. By the time, by the time we um, uh, get to the middle of next week there, so it'll be warm, warm stretch here. Like love. Our house is in one. Oh, Catherine, that is. I hate to hear that for you guys, but you know you're here. You're here in Central Florida though, Catherine. Right? Correct me if I'm wrong. Mike Wong, I heard my weather. Supposed to be very nice tomorrow. Going to be warm. No more. Bring on the cool temps late next week. Angie, I'm jealous of that seven-day forecast. Come on down, girl. Saul. Saul. My Dinah. SM, what up? Big dog, Mr. Citrus Bowl. Mr. GMC. Saul Medina has entered the building, folks. He's here. He no play. That game. Nice. Right, so here's what's going on. Nelda, I hope everyone has a great evening. Yeah. You too, Nelda. I'm being into Oh, oh, uh, you know, it's not going to be a big deal. It's not going to be anything significant. You're, 
You're you're uh, you're not sugar. You're tough. You're a tough girl, Jeannie. I know that about you. You're gonna be fine. We're not no major downpours or anything like that. You got this, girl. I believe in you. I got pumpkin pie from Publix. That was ooh, pumpkin pie, a little bit of Cool Whip. Now you're talking my language. Ching ching. Uh, yes, I'm a little far. My brother's there. Ah. He may have to. He may have to come with you for a while, KK. All right. So there's what's going on in, uh, down in the tropics. There's Puerto Rico weather-wise. Deep beastly flow usually generates some showers this time of year. Bye to you too, Nilda. Thanks for hopping in. Dallas weather. Uh, tonight they're under severe weather risk. There's, uh, but tomorrow they'll be cooling down. Uh, they're on, they have uh, severe thunderstorms. Uh, and uh, they're under a watch right now. So are you are you in Texas right now? Where are you at? You work at the Citrus Bowl. You're in Orlando. You must have family there. I'll get back to what uh, Texas here in a second. There's, uh, again, some showers on the north side of Puerto Rico. A wave action. It's pretty rough, actually. we got some pretty rough seas with that deep easterly flow. Five to ten foot seas. So eastern Caribbean cruising is going to be, you know, a little bit choppy there. Itis Rosano. Part of my family's in, uh, uh, you know, I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing this right. Is it, how do you say, is it Ganika? Uh, thank you. I, I keep us posted on that. If there's anything we can do for you guys, let us hear what you know. I'm on from Orlando, Vegas. go, so earthquake update. Uh, okay, back to the earthquake. You guys want the more, more information on the earthquake. Uh, again, one of my favorite um, uh, websites for earthquake Data is the USGS, and I'm going to go ahead and 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 uh, pop this in on the. Uh, actually, let me do this. Oh, too too much. Give me one second. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you guys a link for earthquake data that I think you'll find handy. Uh, okay, so we got a 3.7, uh, and then the and then the 5.2 is at uh, 526. And then we got another one at 527. And then 554. Since then, it's been quieter. And I'm going to go ahead and, and post this link here for you guys on earthquakes. Um, so there you go. There's a link there for you guys if you if you need information on the on the earthquake. So uh, you can check it out. From New Smyrna Beach, Eric is doing better. Chris, thank you for asking. He will be back. This weekend, Joe Young, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Appreciate you. Uh, now, 5.2 to put this earthquake into perspective. Uh, 5.2 is almost moderate. 5.5 uh, and, and and up to a 6.9 is considered moderate. Then you got strong there uh, from 7 to 7. Point, uh, excuse me, 6.1 to 6.9. Uh, 5.5 to 6 is moderate. Uh, so again, that is uh, on the verge of being a moderate. Earthquake there, that's 5.2, which is 5.5, which is a moderate earthquake. My cousin is there, not good. Oh, Franny, no, 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 no. 6.6 and 5.4, yep. Uh, five, yeah, they had a 5.2 with a 5.26 this afternoon. I know, Teresa, I hear you, girl. It's, it's, it's been a lot of rocking and rolling, a lot of rattling um, down there. And it's unusual to see it go this long in one area. Uh, so we'll have to watch that very carefully. Deborah Delgado saying, I really don't know. We're playing to Deborah. Uh, thoughts and prayers says Juan. Well said. All right. So, and then the other big story is this big severe weather outbreak tonight. We've got multiple tornado launches. Uh, tornado launch over Dallas. Nasty line of storms just blew through Dallas. Uh, and, and, and it extends all the way down towards almost Del Rio, for crying out loud, which is basically down in here. So it's pretty far south for this time of the year. Interesting little blow up with thunderstorms there in the Gulf. Uh, this is lifting to the north. So there we go. Shake around on my cake. Yeah. Earthquakes can cause a tsunami, but but uh, thankfully not in that part of the globe, uh, based on where they're located. Uh, Teresa, it was uh, just south of uh, 
in southwest Puerto Rico again. Uh, the exact location here. It was, uh, and I'm hoping I'm uh, Indios, Puerto Rico. And there's uh, Gunica uh, in, in southwest of Ponce. So, scary stuff says, okay, yep. How long can this? Day Daisy, it can go on for a while. That's the one thing that everybody's getting a little antsy about down there. Uh, are, are we getting any rain tomorrow? We'll get a little bit, nothing major. Uh, but we have a few showers out there right now. Tiffany, the hearts in the house. TD. Uh, so, yep. There we go. So most of the rain right now is, is along the coast. Coastal Brevard, there have been a few sprinkles that kind of came through and fell apart on approach to the beach line at 528. So there you go on that. Uh, but more rain now. Marching. Excuse me. North and west. So that's going to move into Volusia County and then eventually Flagler County as we go deeper into the evening. 27 shares. We need more shares. Correct the mundo. Well said there, KK. KK, you always got my back. Love that about you, girl. Uh, so there you have that. That's what we're checking. Um, there you go. Uh, let's see. So that's uh, uh, Carolyn Ray saying, "Hey, Antonio Flores. Sorry about the delays." Uh, that's that's very very well said, Antonio. Where am I telling you? Can you tell me? Using one day as a phone say. Uh, Anna, Anna, I totally get you. I, I hear you. Uh, we just got to be patient and hope for the best um, and, and just keep them in our thoughts and our prayers as everybody's been saying. Hey, Tony, I want to get go out on my boat tomorrow noon. Kim, hey, that water's pretty rough if you're going out on the Atlantic or, or even the, the intercoastal. Uh, it is so sad, Anna. Sharing is caring. I care, says Joe. Uh, again, the boat beach forecast for tomorrow. And this is for the intercoastal waterways and the Atlantic waters. There you go. Wind southeast. Uh, let's see a small craft advisory. So there's, there's what we got. All right. Uh, got a dash. Good evening and great uh, great weekend. You too. Carolyn Ray is shared. Joe goes shared. The earthquake three Taylor this time was a four point, uh, excuse me, a 5.2. So 5.5 is considered a, is a, considered a moderate hurricane. So this is on the verge of a moderate uh, earthquake. That's what we had tonight. So there's the Bone Beach forecast. Again, pretty rough. Pretty rough weather to have a small craft. Out there in the Atlantic, six to nine foot seas. That's probably not a good idea. All well, the attractions, by the way, are looking good. Here you have it, 72, 83, and 69. And then as we head down towards the tropics, one of the things I was showing you is the wave action down here. Pretty impressive stuff. Um, any time of the year, especially this time of the year, when you got five to ten foot seas and 12 foot seas here, east of the Bahamas. So a lot of rocking and rolling going on. Uh, on cruise boats, cool water here. Cool air. 80 or better, south of Bahamian Islands. There you go. Um, Magali Martinez Serrano. Do you think St. Augustine? A few showers around. Not a washout, though. Kim, Steve, and Masix, good to have you. You're welcome. So that's water temperatures. And then again, I'll look at the seven day forecast here. Shows. Then we're going to be fairly warm. Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, right around 80 to 85 degrees. So that's a good stretch of warm weather. Uh, Joyce Brown, well, good to have you. You are making me yawn. Sorry, Angie. Just had dinner. Every time I eat, I start to yawn. Yawny. Yawny. Yawny, yawny. Um, all right. Weather and snow. Somebody was asking about the snowpack. Again, there's your snowpack map. You see that snow building up through Kansas and Iowa with the snowstorm that's coming down right now. Uh, Lourdes Morales, how are you, girl? Hope you had a good day today, young lady. Uh, Joe Jordan, you see a 10. You got it, Pam Ann. 
Good to have you. Amy Waite, what was the last uh, recordable earthquake in Florida? Ooh, I gotta check that out. Hilda, uh, thank you again, by the way, for your delivery today. Do appreciate that. Looking for your address too, by the way. Uh, check your uh, your messages there. Joe Hernandez, be good, everyone. Jojo, you take care. Have a great weekend, Jojo. And then we take a look at the uh, how's Mama Bear doing, Hilda? By the way. All right. Oof! Look at these temperatures. This is just ridiculous. 38 below in Yellowknife, uh, 22 below Fort Nelson, 31 degrees below zero in Baker Lake, uh, Freeze City, baby, Saskatoon, 8 below, Winnipeg, 9 below, Minneapolis, 13 above, Sioux Falls, 3 above, Icarumba, uh, 37 in Chicago, uh, 60 in St. Louis, Memphis, 63, Orlando, 71, Cancun, 81, Kingston, a bomby 84. I want right back at you there. Uh, yeah, E-West, no, no doubt there, girl. But you're tough. You can handle it. I know you can. I believe in you. Yeah, Belize City, 81. Kingston, 84. You try it first, and then I'll go. Panama City, 81. Bogota, 55. Manaus, 79. Look at La Paz, Bolivia, 48. Asuncion, Paraguay, 86. Sao Paulo, Brazil, 81. Ah, good, good, good news on that. Tell her, tell her, uh, tell her I said hi. By the way, Punta Arenas 50, uh, Santiago 77. There's Cape Town 64, uh, Madagascar uh, 59. <laughs> uh, I'm glad someone's paying attention. Uh, Khartoum 54, Cairo 48. Woo, we go to Europa. Chills. Uh, Hilda, who you like in the football games this weekend, by the way? Uh, Paris, 39. Oslo, gosh, 19 degrees. Ankara, Turkey, 14. Baku, 43. Raidai, 50. Kabul, 21. Astana, 0. Getting back to Siberia, starting to cool back down again. Uh, 18 below. Remember, uh, so far this winter season, the coldest temperature I have seen is Yakust at minus 55 below zero. Now, again, parts of Canada and Alaska are in the minus 35 to 40 range. <laughs> Always, says Emily. Seoul, 32 and freezing. Jojo Lovejoy, England, your homeland. Uh, we passed that, but I'll go back. Uh, London is at 43. There you go. Franny Lolo, Francis. How's everybody doing up there in, in Palm Coast tonight? Pam Ann, 49. Karen, geez, that's cold. Yeah, man. Uh, Italy, Roma. Roma, 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 39. Baku, 43. Uh, Kabul, 21. Uh, Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia, 17 below. Yakutsk, 18 below. Uh, there we go. Korea, Sapporo, upper 20s, low 30s. Tokyo, uh, 46. Hong Kong, 70. Kuala Lumpur, 82. Donna Levy. Uh, one week from this weekend. Donald, this is the way it looks right now. Have a great weekend, Tony. Right back at your show. Negrati, Gendenzi. There, there you go, KK. Bonnie Bennett, headed to Auburn de Alamar for the funeral past day. Ooh, yeah, it's going to be busy. Bonnie, it's going to be busy. All right, so Australia has cooled down a little bit from 100 in Alice Springs to 82. So a bit of some good news there for the folks fighting uh, the fires over that way. And when we take a look at the genius, good to hear that, Francis. Tell her Uncle Tony says hi, by the way. Uh, tropics, here we go. Abigail Silva, hey, Tony. All right, take that trip. Thank you, Tony. Uh, Don, you the man. Abigail Silva, how you doing tonight? All right, so let's go to Australia. Ooh, another, another little feature here trying to develop. The last one came in here and gave some rain off to the south and west, which is good. Uh, my son is in Alaska. Oh, Bonnie. Fairbanks is uh, 38 below. Eek. What part of Alaska, by the way? Uh, rooting for the Buffalo Bills, says Amy. <clears throat> yeah. They hung in tough, though. So a little bit of moisture up north near Darwin. 
hoping that's going to be pulled southward. And then uh, go up towards the Gulf of Alaska. A couple storm systems here. Big monster storm. Look at that bomb. Coming in the pack northwest. Another one here. Another one there. So plenty of action there in the Gulf of Alaska. Whoa, that's a big low. All right, there we go. India's quiet. Europa, big storm system coming in there. Look at Reykjavik, big storm there. Ah, thank you, Franny. Fairbanks, all right, we'll go to Fairbanks here in a sec. There's Hawaii. A little bit of moisture there. That's a big storm coming into the pack northwest. That's going to have a little bit of a wind punch with it. All right. Mary Richard, very windy in Hollywood. Yes. Fairbanks, 30 degrees below zero. There you go. Point Barrow, 26 below. Nome on the water, 13 above. Anchorage, one above. And Akutan, 42 in the Aleutian Islands. Elizabeth Hawk, she's in the house. Kicking butt and taking names. There you go. So yellow knife is 38 degrees below zero. Hello. Hi, Columba. And then we've got uh, severe weather. Dallas. Tornado watch has just lifted uh, for the western side of Dallas. Alderica Barreri, good to have you. I went also. Oh, Elizabeth, nice. Bonnie Bennett, you're welcome. Snowstorm there in Iowa, into southern Wisconsin. It is super cold and snowy now. Uh, into Montana. There you go. Big tornado launch through Arkansas, Missouri, Louisiana. That's going to head east tomorrow. So there you have it. All right, gang, coming up on 845. 845. Uh, let me go ahead and end this with a quick peek one more time at our seven-day forecast. And you'll see warm weather. Diane Mitchell, good to have you there, M M Miss Memphis. Memphis on my mind, says Diane. How you guys holding up up there? You guys going to have some wet weather, some storms coming your way as you warm up before you cool down. I uh, hope your move has been well for your family up there on D. Kim. Uh, we want to be going, going to be. Yeah, it's going to be tough all weekend, Ken. Um, it's going to, yeah, you know, this weekend, uh, I'm not feeling good about it. Uh, maybe early next week, but, uh, you know, keep an eye on late Sunday. Might be a little bit lower, but um, I'll keep you posted. I'm actually working Sunday, Sunday evening. Uh, e West, anytime, girl, you know that. KK McCullough, thanks and good night. So there's a peek at your seven-day forecast. Murph Feliciano, I'm in PR first. You arrived yesterday. Felt my friend. Not fun. Murph, what part of uh, what part are you in? Are you in south? Are you in the southwest quadrant, or are you up towards uh, San Juan? Just out of curiosity. That is getting better, thankfully. Good news there, uh, Elizabeth. So there's your there's a look now at your seven-day your seven-day forecast right there. Uh, as you can see, staying warm here in Central Florida. All right, gang. Let me rock and roll, get ready for the 10 and the 11. I'll be back on Sunday with Facebook Live and on, on West tonight at 10 and 11. You guys are a great group. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the football games. Enjoy the warm weather. Uh, and uh, I will see you and talk to you guys soon. Adios!